Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a domain controller to an existing domain. So if you have a domain services and you just have one DC, which is one domain controller, um, for high availability, you want to add a second domain controller to your existing. The reason you want to do this is because just say if you have one domain controller and if that one domain controller is down um, you won't be able to authenticate any users or any application services <clears throat> so it's recommended or highly recommended to have at least two domain controller so now let's get started so i have an existing domain controller and this is going to be my dc2 it's going to be a second domain controller so the first thing you need to do is you want to verify that the your your second domain controller is pointing to the same DNS server. So as you can see, my DNS server is, is 192.168.1.143. So make sure this DNS server is, is the same as your primary domain controller. I'm going to close it out. Now let's install the domain controller roles. Click on manage and then go to add roles and features. Click next. Next again. And next. Actually, I'm going to rename this servers first. Let me uh, pause the recording so I can rename the server. This is the wrong name. I just rebuilt the server. All right, I got my server renamed. <clears throat> 2019 DC2. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to choose Active Directory Domain Services. Add Features. I'm going to click Next. And Next again and install so the installation will take a few minutes i'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back all right look like the installation has completed i'm going to promote this server as a domain controller And the first option here is to add a domain controller to an existing domain. That's the, uh, the choice I'm going to choose. Domain, I'm going to select the domain. The account that has access to the domain controller. It's going to be 0365. All right. I gotta put in the dot local. That should see it. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> and next is I'm going to. Yep, everything looks good here. I'm gonna click next. All right, so the global catalogs, the server doesn't need a global catalog. It will get the catalogs from the primary domain controller. I'm going to uncheck this box. The server is also going to be um, a DNS server. So just check this box and uncheck the two box from the bottom.
click next. So the same uh, uh, similar uh, notification or warning here, you can just choose to ignore it. Just ignore it and click next. And the additional options here, um, there's an option to install from media. I probably cover this later in a, in a different video. Specify additional replication options. You can choose any domain controller or the, the one and only domain controller I have here. So just leave it at any domain controller. Click next. The path is by default, the database will under under Windows and TDS, log files under that too. And the sysvolv is under sysvolv folder. Click next. You can view the review options here. Uh, you can save the script and to and you can use it to install on a different server. Gonna click next. Prerequisite checks. All pass and just only a few warnings. That should be okay. And click on install. So the installation will take about five minutes. Um, for now, I'm going to pause the recording and welcome back. All right, look like the installation is completed. Now the computer just restarted. Let's log in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to verify that this DC is installed, DC2. Let's click on Tools. Go to Users and Computers. Click on the 0365, which is your domain. Click on Domain Controllers. You should see two domain controllers. This is how you verified it. Um, also, you can go to Tools and go to Users and Computers. Oops, wrong one. Go to Tools and Active Directory Site and Services. Go to sites, default sites server name, or uh, default site name, servers. You should see two servers. So I have two domain controller in my domain um, domain service. That's it. That's how you add a DC to an existing DC. Thank you. For, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. And have a great day.